morning Claire. So today I wanted to do an um, updated video of my very old video which I did at the beginning of me being on YouTube and that video is very very long, <clears throat> not very good quality, I obviously didn't have the good camera, the lighting, I didn't know how to zoom in on stuff so I thought I will redo it. It's my most watched video but I often get comments how long it is. So I thought I will do it. I do it much simpler and much quicker. So hooded eyes, as you can see, I have hooded droopy eyes. Uh, basically you can't see my mobile lid when I relax my eyebrows and also my um, eyes look very sad, you know, they point, point down, downwards. Um, they are just basically droopy. So this is all about light and shade and optical illusion. So it's all about light shimmery shadows and dark matte shadows. Light things will bring things forward, make things bigger. Dark matte shadows will push things back, make them smaller. Um, it's just an optical illusion. So let's start with number one, brows. Brows are so important. Brows are like the frames of your eyes. So if your brows are not groomed, then the rest is not going to look very well. I am going to go off and do one of my brows because I will do, you know, split screen, one, one eye the right way, one eye the, the wrong way. Um, and I will link here, or here, <laughs> A video to my eyebrow routine how I do my brows so you can check that okay so this brow is done this one is it can you see the difference straight away this eye already looks more lifted more open to open your eye a bit more you can take um, I wouldn't take very shimmery shade but matte or satin finish light shade like I've got here Makeup Geek Vanilla Bean and just pop it right under the arch of your brow which will highlight and bring that area forward therefore it will make your eye even more open okay now eyeshadow there is few ways you can do your eyeshadow when you have hooded eyes and if you watch my videos all my makeup tutorials obviously are suitable for hooded eyes because that's what i've got um but i think very very good makeup and especially one that i've been wearing lately as my eyes droop down even more and there might be a lot of you that have that level of droopiness is the halo technique which basically means you shade the inner corner, outer corner, all around. You just highlight right in the middle of your mobile lid. This is a very good technique and I will explain to you why and I will do this technique. As you know, I, before when I, um, before I had Botox, I could lift my eyebrows higher. Therefore, you could see more of my eye and I could do a bit more with my eyeshadow but as my eyes have dropped a bit now because of the Botox um, my mobile lid is hardly showing so what I found the easiest now with my eyes being that hooded is the halo technique or one eyeshadow look where you start from the bottom with quite dark eyeshadow and work it up in a like a rounded shape um, obviously I can't show you every technique now because I would have to keep taking my makeup off but like I said if you watch my videos my tutorials I use all sorts of techniques so okay let's start with the eyes so first of all I always always say you should find your crease and crease is where your um, eyelid folds where your top eyelid folds over your mobile eyelid so with hooded eyes we usually have our crease very low or don't have it at all so if you look at my eyes my crease is right here so I can't use my crease color that low because it won't show once I've opened my eyes you need to be able to see your crease color when you open your eyes before hooded eyes we have to go much higher with our eyeshadow now I've got a video about where to find your crease as well 
uh, so I don't go on for too long. I will again link it here so you can go and watch that one. But let me just start with the eyeshadow. So today I'm going to take just a neutral brown eyeshadow. It does not matter about the color. This is not about the color. This is what color you like. This is purely about the technique. I'm going to take this brown color from the Charlotte Tilbury's look in a palette eyeshadow and I'm going to start in my crease and of course I'm not going to be explaining the crease because you've got the video linked in but basically what you do and you see I'm, I am going in like a half moon shape and you keep open, opening your eye, looking forward, and if you don't see the eyeshadow, that means you have to go higher. And I will be just building up And what we're doing with putting the darker eyeshadow here, we're pushing the appearance of the hood back. We're shading it. I also shade this bit here because that's where my eye drops. And as you can see, I'm going quite high up. And that will all depends on the distance that you have, the area that you have between your eyelashes and your eyebrow. I have quite a big um, area there, so I have to go quite high up because if I just finished here, this uh, will be very light and it still will give me that appearance of hooded eye. Now you concentrate more on an outer area because that's where the droopiness is. You make this area the darkest. So I don't know if you can see now, you can see this hood but this one doesn't seem to be so bad. Now let me do this eye. If we did it other way around, I will put the dark eyeshadow just on my lid. Uh, that has done absolutely nothing. So I haven't gone high enough. Therefore, this is still very light and you can see the hood really popping out. Another thing you don't want to do is put nice light shimmery shade onto your hood because that is just gonna pop that is just gonna make your hood much much more visible so i'm just taking makeup geeks shimmer shimmer and i'm going to apply it here okay so you can probably see what that has done to my eye. It's brought that hood forward so much more, uh, made the skin look lovely and crepey, more than it already is. So now you can see how the shade and light works. If you put something light on something that you want to hide, you're not gonna hide it. You're just gonna bring it forward and make it look worse. Now you could leave it like this and that would look absolutely fine. You've already hidden the hood. But to make your eye even more open, we want to somehow give the appearance that we actually have some mobile lid that we can see. And you can do that in two ways. You can highlight the middle of your mobile lid with a matte, very bright, you know, creamy, whitey eyeshadows or you can put shimmer. Yes, we can absolutely use shimmer when you have hooded eyes. It just, it's very important where you place it. So you've seen me doing this makeup if you've been with me for a long time, all the time, I love it. I'm going to take fold eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, which is called Starry Eyed. It doesn't matter which one it is, it needs to be bright and, and really show up. But you could, you know, easily put something just really light and matte. I, I didn't bring here anything that, that pops that much. So let me use the foil eyeshadow and I only will put it in the middle of my mobile lid, right to about here. 
don't go too high. You can drag this towards your inner corner and also don't drag it there because that's where your eyelid folds and you will again highlight that hood. So doing it in the middle is probably the best technique. Now when I'm talking, when I'm looking at you, when I'm blinking, you can really see that color pop and it gives you the illusion that I have quite a big mobile lid but I don't. So again it's about the shade and light and optical illusion. I'm a magician today. <laughs> so that's your upper lid taken care of. I also like to always put eyeshadow on my lower lash line and this is more to balance the look of the upper lid and also I feel if you've got eye bags which I have um, putting eyeshadow darker eyeshadow here sort of detracts the attention from the bag so I really like to put darker eyeshadow okay like this now look what would happen if I put shimmery eyeshadow all the way underneath my eye which I've seen people do not only it emphasizes all the crepey skin I feel like it makes my eye more tired now eyeliner Eyeliner is very very controversial when it comes to hooded eyes and that is because we all have different type of hooded eye, different severity of the hoodiness. I also have a video on uh, different ways of doing winged eyeliner for hooded eyes and again I will um, link it here. But I wanted to tell you don't be obsessed with eyeliner. You don't have to have winged eyeliner. You don't have to wear eyeliner at all. I've actually been wearing very little eyeliner lately. What I usually do, I take a dark black or very dark brown eyeshadow. I take like a um, eyebrow brush and I just press it near my lash line. Or I take a co liner and I make very very thin line and this is just to uh, darken the roots of your lashes just emphasize that uh, area a bit you don't have to do winged liner honestly I know that all the young girls everyone does winged liner and I like it now and again but sometimes it can actually look worse because if you do quite thick liner again what you are doing you're covering the very tiny mobile lid, the mobile lid that is already so small um, and um, that will close your eye up. So let me do it with the brush, I will take, I don't know, I will take Makeup Geek, I will try to get the darkest one I've got which is Americano, which is quite a dark brown. You can wet your brush as well. And just press it into your lash line. It also is more forgiving than um, liquid eyeliner, it's not as harsh. Sometimes instead of winged eyeliner what you can do is just shade this area in like a, you know I call it not V but 7, like this and that will lift your eye. You know, wing is very, very difficult to do for us hoodies because where we want to run the line, we've got this crease that will break the line. And you will see it if you watch the video of mine about liners. So don't worry about the eyeliner. I like to also put a bit of eyeliner in my waterline, but you don't have to do it. I know some people say make sure eyes look smaller. I don't think my eyes are that small so I quite like it. If you feel that your eyes are very small and that makes them smaller then don't do it. Okay so let me just uh, for the comparison, comparison purposes do like a nice thick line on this eye. Okay so there is my eyeliner as you can see I've covered now 
all of my mobile lid which only emphasizes the hood and I'm sure you can clearly see the difference okay the last thing lashes and you know how I feel about lashes I think lashes are so important they are more important than anything else good lashes will open up your eye will cover the hood lashes is everything now if you don't have very good lashes use fake fa false eyelashes there is so many good eyelashes the only one um advice i can give you on eyelashes i think the best eyelashes are ones that are shorter at the inner corner and longer at the top at the outer corner because you know there are eyelashes that are short here short here and just very long in the middle all that does is gonna again because you've got the most the longest lash in the middle that is gonna just cover your mobile lid but the hood will be still visible you want the lash because the lash makes it darker to cover the hood also when you are applying false eyelashes when you have hooded eyes when you come to this to sticking the eyelash in the outer corner go tiny bit up don't follow your lash line go tiny bit up you can always fill it a bit with a dark pencil if there is a gap because again that will lift it also make sure that your eyelashes are trimmed that they fit your eye because most eyelashes come far too long you have to measure them and trim them because if they are too long and they finish here that's going to drag your eye down now we can all wear false eyelashes you don't have to wear those thick huge eyelashes that you see the 20 year olds wearing there are very fine eyelashes that there is so much choice out there and just buy the cheapest at first and practice it is very very easy and so effective my lashes are quite good um, i use a lash growth serum called fisico as most of you know but whatever lash growth serum you're using it's fine so and i've always had quite good lashes my lashes are also curly so i don't need to curl them that's another thing if your lashes are very straight pointing down curl them because that's going to open your eye if your lashes go down that's going to again close in your eye so i'm using my kiko ultra tech mascara but just use any mascara that you like and do your lashes and I like to pack on my mascara okay now I'm going to put a bit of mascara on this eye And here is your finished look so as you can see I've got the same eyes both eyes are the same but I'm sure you'll agree this one looks much better so I would say these are like basic um, rules obviously you don't have to follow, follow rules I'm not telling you you shouldn't or should do anything that's what I do and that's what works for me I'm not saying hooded eyes are bad but I think they are more challenging, especially when you're older, uh, you can look very tired with hooded eyes. When you're young, it doesn't matter. But when you're older, hooded eyes look very tired. So I think that's a good way to make them, to wake them up. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you very much for watching and I see you soon. Bye.